Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video the first 10 things to do for the Redmi Note 11 S 5G. Yeah, I think uh, you know already that the phone comes with a 90Hz display, but uh, did you know that you don't have the 90Hz uh, by default at your phone? No, you have just 60Hz. Let me show you how you can change it. Okay, for that, just scroll down here right next to the camera, scroll down right next to the camera, because then you will have the control center, and the part of the control center is here the symbol for the settings. Okay, and uh, here we need to scroll down to the point display. And if you scroll down here a bit, you will have here the refresh rate. And by default, it's just 60 hertz. And if you need uh, or if you want to have it more smooth and so on, you can here enable the 90 hertz. The big advantage at the 60 hertz is that you uh, don't need so much battery power. Uh, but 90 hertz also is not that intensive for the battery. So you could choose it also and then everything becomes a bit more smooth and so on. Yeah, the next point I want to show you is for our eyes because we all are looking too often on our smartphones. I think you know what I mean. And uh, that gives our eyes stress. This is not something new. Everybody knows this, but we are still looking too often on our smartphones. But there's a way to reduce that stress here at the display. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down right next to the camera here again, as we have learned, and then we have the control center here. And a part of the control center is this eye icon here. Just tap it and as you can see the color of the screen have changed. Why? Because we have enabled a blue light filter and um, if the colors are more warm now um, that reduces much the eye stress. So I think it's a bit unusual at the beginning uh, but I really recommend this to you and at latest at the evening because uh, also the blue light affects your sleep. So if you enable this blue light filter you can sleep better. No, you should try that. If you say, okay, I don't want to have this um, too warm screen here on the day, uh, there's a way to just enable it automatically at night. So let me show you what I mean. So for that, just press, so long press the eye icon, and then you're at the settings here of this um, blue light filter. So first of all you can adjust here the blue light filter and so on. So I would recommend to you to put always your maximum uh, like at me now. So I have done it already before. And uh, if you say okay you don't want to have it um, on day as I said you can schedule it automatically. And I would recommend to you to put here the good night suite because whenever the sun uh, sets the blue light filter will turn on and turn off automatically in the morning if the sun rises. There's another point which one reduces also stress for your eyes. Um, let me go back here. Let's go again to the control center. Scroll right next to the camera here like this. And you have the control center as I said. And if you scroll down here also at the shortcuts, you will have some more shortcuts. Good to know, I think. And uh, one of them is here the dark mode. If you enable it, many stuff what was white before turns into black. And that's um, saving energy at one part if you have the AMOLED screen. And uh, otherwise, also it gives, reduces the eyes. Uh, it, re it re reduces the eye strain because um, if everything is dark around you in the evening, yeah, and just the screen is very white, it is not that comfortable for your eyes. And uh, you can, um, yeah, you should enable this in the evening. And I would recommend to you also to long press here the button, the icon. Sorry to schedule it because on the day the dark mode sometimes if you have a lot of sun in the background uh, you can't see well on the display so I would really recommend to you to just enable it in an evening or night uh, so just schedule it here and it's also set up here from sunset to sunrise so whenever the sun sets turns on if the sun rises it turns off the next point what I want to show you is also very nice because um, you can clone apps with a phone. That means if you have maybe two Facebook accounts or if you want to have two WhatsApp accounts here on your phone and hey why not you can insert two SIM cards why not having one WhatsApp for each number. You can do that. Uh, let me show you how you can do that. So for, so for that just scroll on right next to the camera go to the symbol for the settings then scroll down to the point apps 
And here you have this point, dual apps. So if you create it, then you are able now to clone apps. Just tap here, turn on. And now we have two WhatsApp accounts on one phone. And let us also do the same thing with Instagram, Facebook as well. You can clone so much uh, more apps. Also Amazon, you can have two Amazon accounts uh, or Netflix accounts if you want, uh, two TikTok accounts. Many things are possible here. And uh, let me clone Netflix as well. And this is how it looks like later. Nah? So this is my main Netflix account, this is my second one, my main Facebook, uh, my main WhatsApp account, my second one. And as you can see, you can always recognize the cloned app here with the orange mark at the corner. This is always here, my second app. So a very useful tool so that you don't have to switch always in the same app if you have many accounts. Yeah, the next point I want to show you is again for our eyes um, because you can increase the text size in case you don't see so well anymore. Um, what well, is not that bad, but it happens to all of us. So let me show you how we can um, increase the text size. Just scroll on your way next to the camera, go to the settings here. I think you know this already. Um, then go to the display. And here you should have the text size. So um, you have an example here. The default is S and uh, yeah, it is enough already to put it on L. Uh, on XL, no? but uh, it affects also here the notifications. No? So, um, because if it's too large, no? as you can see here, I have it actually on XL now, then you can't see the previews uh, very well and so on. So this is the reason why I would uh, recommend uh, to you to have it at maximum at L, because uh, then you can see a bit more here um, at the preview and the notifications. So and the next point I want to show you is uh, something for the energy because you can save energy and uh, let you feel also comfortable at night because sometimes uh, people are calling at night or you receive a notification which one is not that uh, uh, important and so on and disturbs your sleep. You can turn off your phone automatically. No, That saves as well as I said much energy and we should think about our environment. So we can have that here at the security app. It's the green app here with a white shield in it. Then we will have here the point battery and above we have the battery saver and the battery. Tap on battery and here we have the point chat shield power off and on. <laughs> so and here you can set up an automatic time and which one allows you to turn off the phone automatically and also turn it on automatically. Now set up a turn off time, maybe at uh, 11.30 p.m. And then you can set up here a repeat time if you want to have it every day or if you just want to have it at the weekdays where you, when, when you're working or sometimes like this or if you work as well on the weekend, you can customize it here as well. And the same thing also you can set it up with a power on time that's maybe in half hour before you get up that it, the phone turns on and you um, again uh, uh, available for your friends and so on and yeah, this saves energy because uh, may you sleep eight hours and yeah you waste eight hours with energy for nothing yeah? uh, i really recommend this to you and also this let you feel much more comfortable because you don't go always on your phone maybe or you um, don't uh, feel disturbed from your phone if you receive a notification because it's always um, giving stress and so on. You should try that. The next one I want to show you makes the phone faster because uh, you can remove some animations here. No? Things we never think about. And if you open maybe an app uh, like, um, I don't know, uh, yeah, let's take the, I usually take the Play Store, let's take the Play Store. You have a little animation. No? I don't know if you could see that. If you open it, it zooms out, it's very fast, but if you close it, it zooms in. No? Close, zooms out, zooms in. And if you remove these animations, your phone feels much faster and it is faster. Let me show you how it works. Okay, for that, just scroll on here, right next to the camera, go to the settings. And scroll down to the point, additional settings. 
and here is the point accessibility and also above here we have some options general vision hearing and so on and we will need vision right now and if we scroll down a bit we will have here the point remove animations okay let's check if we open up the play store it's immediately there the close is immediately gone there gone let me enable the animations again zooms out something can you see the differences now uh it feels much uh, faster than and i'm i'm telling you um especially you no know, especially if your phone is getting older after a few years uh this is a uh, lost performance you have because uh, you need to wait longer than for some reasons um, if these animations are there so you should really remove them because it doesn't bring something for you yeah i don't know why they did that okay the next point i want to show you is you can uh, do a nice stuff for your camera because uh, if you double press the power button you are immediately at the camera uh, but you have to enable this uh, feature what is very useful though don't miss a great picture no? for that just scroll on right next to the camera here again then go to the settings and here we need to go again to the point additional settings and here's a point gesture shortcuts and to launch the camera you should enable the first point here double press the power button this point has to be enabled and then you have this pretty cool tool whenever you double press the power button you are directly at your camera so a very nice tool. what is awesome as well also if my phone is on standby huh yeah also then i just double press the power button and i'm immediately at the camera without unlocking the screen uh, checking the camera app and so on and hey made this saves you a great picture one day yeah, the next point i want to show you is uh, a way to make the screen a bit smaller because the screen is very large and so on the phone is very large and cannot reach everything with one thumb but it's a way to make the screen a bit smaller by just swiping here um, your finger over the navigation bar and then it has um, a mini screen here and you can do whatever you want you can play games and so on you can really do the same stuff as you do regularly on the full screen but also this point you have to enable first for that just scroll in here go to the symbol for the settings mm. then we need to go to the point additional settings here again and you will need this point here one-handed mode and this has to be marked blue here that it's enabled and whenever you swipe from the middle to the outside now well, this is to have it uh, the mini screen on the left uh, so so for left-handed people and if you scroll it to the um, arrow here then you have it for right-handed people and as i said you can completely do the stuff you want to do uh, and also so this is now the other side again uh, and also if you want to quit it just tap here as you have seen maybe already on the outside and then you are back at the regular mode if you are a fan of the navigation bar by the way you can use also some shortcuts here for the navigation bar uh, for that just go to the settings now, as we have been in right now and then choose the point home screen system navigation now you have to decide for the buttons then not for the gestures for the buttons and then you can choose some button shortcuts and then you can choose also action what should happen if you maybe long press the back button here no? maybe let's turn on the torch no? that means whenever you long press also if you go back now one step here with the arrow you know this already now but if you long press now the back button you have <laughs> the torch same thing if you long press it again then you will off the torch and so on and you can um, choose some nice stuff with and so on yeah, I hope I could help you with uh, these uh, tips to set up your phone and uh, yeah, maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so so much for and uh, yeah I've created also some other videos with some more tips and tricks and so on if you want to see it or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Uh, thank you so so much for all your support and uh, yeah maybe until next time. Mm -hmm. Ciao!